Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to create a set reset flip flop in Gordas today in VHDL. So first up, what we're going to want to do is create a new VHDL file. Then you're going to define library you're going to be using, library IEEE, -E -E, and then use IEEE.SED underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all semicolon and now you're going to define the entity I'm going to call it SR test 1 because that's the name of the file I am using is port C comma N underscore reset which will be our reset, C will be our clock, N underscore set, and D. The N's are going to represent not, which is pretty much inverted reset or inverted set. Normally, when we want something enabled, we would want it high, but we want this low to tell if it's reset or not. So now we do scd underscore logic and then our port output will be q out scd underscore logic close parentheses uh, go back a line and SR test one architecture arc of SR test one is begin, and then you're going to process. N underscore reset and N underscore set. Then you're going to begin and then you're going to start your if then statement. If, and this is for N reset. So if the reset not is equal to zero. And n underscore set is equal to one. Then q would equal zero. It would pretty much be telling us that if the reset is low, then q is low. However, for this one, I'm just going to copy this pass line, but just switch the numbers around. So if n reset equals 1 and n set equals 0, then q would equal 1. So it would pretty much say if the set is low then Q is 1 however I'm gonna fix this up one little touch because you need it to be else if and then do another else if over here and this will be a lot different so else if C event, so pretty much whenever it rises or falls, so we're going to define it as rising. If, if there's an event and C becomes 1 after the event, so pretty much on the positive edge of C, then Q 
would be equal to d, or less than or equal to d. Then you would end your if statement, end the process, and end the architecture. Next, all you would have to do is just start the compilation. Yes. And it will take a little time with the VHDL, so we're going to go ahead and create a new waveform while we wait. So in this waveform, we're going to want the grid size to be about 250 nanoseconds, or a quarter of a microsecond. Next, we're going to want the end time to be 16 microseconds. And we should be fine through there, all we have to do is just wait for this to compile so we can insert the nodes. And we're all set. So now we're going to go here and insert the nodes in here or bus, node finder, list, bring all of them over here, click OK. I'm going to bring D towards Q over here and keep the set and reset together. I'm going to have C be on a clock value of one second. So it'll count every one microsecond. So there you go. Now on each positive edge there's going to be some sort of there's going to be some sort of change or it's going to end up following D. So Q is based off of like one microsecond. So say if I have the reset low right here, I'm going to I have to invert the sets and reset because it'll only know if it's low. So if I were to say, okay, I'm going to reset it here it's going to start out at zero regardless. But now say I'm going to do a set like right here in the middle of this low spot. It'll cause Q to go high then. Uh, I'm going to have D start out probably towards the edge over here. However, you will see that once it goes up, once Q, once Q is determined, it'll pretty much tell you that it'll go up and just stay up for the rest of the time until the next event were to occur. So now, I'm going to put another reset right here. And just for the hell of it, I will randomize D from two seconds on. So I'll just input random value at random in intervals. Oh, uh, that's a little bit too random. At fixed intervals, let's just give it. Uh, 0.5 microseconds. There we go. Except I want to keep D down here. Actually, no, I'll keep D up there. Anyways, let's run the simulation. 
it'll all be saved for the waveform. And as you can see right here, so Q will start when the positive edge starts. So it'll follow. The set occurs right here. And the reset occurs right here. What doesn't make sense though is that Q just does not follow D after that second, which is kind of weird because it should start following D at this edge right here typically. However, I bet if I were to put this high right here, it'll follow towards the end. Because sometimes it might not have to be on the edge, it just needs to be there before the edge. Yeah, that's exactly the problem. So it needs to be there before that positive edge or else it will not go high. So say like, oh, this tiny little slither right here, there's nothing there. If it, it's not high, if it's not high, then the, and it turn, goes high like right after, this will not go high because this is occurring at the same time the clock is going up. So you want it there before, like right before that goes high. So yeah, it, this this should really make sense sometimes. Um, if I were, I'm probably gonna end up flipping the reset and set for you guys, so you guys can see how that works. Because I completely forgot the reset is on the other side. Just put that high and put this high right here and this will change our entire output altogether. Oh. At this point we're just messing around with the waveform to see what we can get for Q. So yeah, exactly almost the same thing. Except when instead of this leaving and being left up for a while the reset comes down and pretty much causes it to go low I'm gonna have D be switched up over here just to show you guys how the set works too so I'm gonna have D go low right before the edge and put that high right here. So actually, how about I, I'm not gonna let D go up at all. I'm gonna actually keep it down at zero. Now I'll run it to show you guys how it works. There you go. So, as you can tell, the reset pretty much nullifies this and you can't get anything past the, you can't get any D output from Q. And then, even this, if this is high, Q will remain low. The set works, so whenever you press down the set, it'll cause this to go high up until the next time 
which that case it'll go low if it's been there before which it has I, I, I'm, I hope that this makes sense to some people because if D if D is high right here Q will go high because of this because of this positive edge the same thing pretty much occurs however if D is not high right here Q will Q will not go high right here pretty much even if this is high well if D is not high right here Q will not be high right here I know this is a little confusing by the way I'm explaining it but pretty much there has to be a D before the clock goes high or else Q will not be high. So if D is not high before the clock goes high, Q will not be high. I hope this makes sense. That last statement will pretty much sum it up right there. And then when the reset's low, obviously resets for the entire microsecond, sets low. It sets for the rest of that microsecond so yeah thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe